I'm so excited to call you husband. And uh, now you're my wife. A wedding, one of the most joyous days in a couple's life. Oh, that was a good one. But planning a wedding can be anything but joyous. Have the groom's been like you? No, I'm not. So many details to remember, decisions to make, and deadlines to hit. It's a wonder anyone has the strength to walk down the aisle. Nothing's going right. And for the couple you're about to meet, it's no different. Except for Mark and Carol, everything is different. Hi! Being small presents challenges most of us could never imagine. The sleeves are a little long. You have a lot of train hair. From roses to rings. Hands are pretty small. And cakes to catering. So are we going to need shorter tables? Mark and Carol are doing the majority of preparation themselves. And as they plan their journey to the altar, they'll have to confront the reality of being little people in an average-sized world. We should have eloped. <laughs> Then, in the spring of 2006, Mark and Carol connected at a conference for little people. I was just intrigued by him. I don't remember exactly the first time we met, but the, when I saw him again, I was like, oh, there's Mark. <laughs> Carol was 41 and had never been married. I think I had given up on the dream of being married. The older you get, you kind of think, OK, it's not going to happen. She said something to me one time about she was going to have to plan her retirement. She's thinking about retiring, and she's thinking about doing it alone. She's planning her life alone. But all that changed when Mark entered the picture. He was 36, a single dad with a two-year-old daughter named Priya from a previous marriage. Just the way she was with Priya, she was really good with her. I thought, this is, you know, I really hope this works out. They began dating, but it wasn't easy. Carol worked at Stanford University in Northern California. Mark was a motivational speaker in Phoenix. We dated long distance for over a year. You know, that's a long time. She decided to take a chance and moved out here. I didn't know how things were going to go here, but I didn't want to live with the regret of saying, why didn't I go? Why didn't I take a chance? For Mark and Priya, it was a second chance at a family. Their lives had been turned upside down when Mark's first wife died after a car accident. I couldn't imagine that kind of pain. And it's like, you know what, this isn't fair. I, I, it's just not fair to my son. I can't even tell you how devastated I was to be alone and a single dad. I would say I was depressed for a good six months and then slowly felt like I was coming out of it and needed to be strong for Priya, if, if nothing else. When Carol stepped into the picture, she won both Mark and Priya over. I felt like I was building a relationship with two people. Because I was dating Mark, and I was trying to court Priya, too. Sending her cards, talking to her on the phone, spending time with her. After a year and a half of dating, Mark popped the question. Well, I got a ring, which I understand is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Told me how much he loved me and how much he was glad I was in his life. And then he pulled out the ring and he said, will you marry me? And I started crying. But then I did say yes, because I heard that sometimes women forget to say yes. 